What's up guys, Retro Django here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna take a quick look at the next pinball machine from Stern. They just released Rush, they released it yesterday and I was like, Godzilla, first impression video right away. Mandalorian, first impression video right away. I love the themes, great, everything is just me. Rush, I know nothing about it, so it came out yesterday, I was like, I would just leave it. But today, you guys are writing to me, my dear subscribers, come on man, review it, where's your review, where's your, your first impression, where's your unboxing video? <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick look um, at this Rush pinball machine from Stern. So let's go ahead and look at the Pro model first, why not? Rush Pro, there's an eagle at front. Somebody hit the push the boom button. <laughs> oh man, is this a pro? Yeah, it's a pro model. Nice, it looks packed. You guys know me. I I I hate that less is more. More is more. Wow, it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Maybe this is Rush. A lot of songs from Rush. Uh, I think they're from the 70s or something like that. It's an owl. It's not an eagle there. A bird on the back glass. Yay! <laughs> okay. Nothing new. Same size screen. Okay. Yeah, Stern Insider connected. We know, we know. <sighs> Just from the get-go. Look, look at this. Look at the ball. It jumps, it's just so much John Borg. The ball just flies from the get-go and crashes on the wood play field and dimples it. And at the ramp here, they have written Rush and that will make microscopic scratches on the pinballs and it will wear the play field out. Oh my God. I know I'm a nerd, but you know, small details. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we have got pop pump. This looks like someone's hand drawing from the 70s, man. A slot machine. Time machine, multiball. Oh, it has, it has got this magnet. Nice. Oh, this is just like from the 2003 um, Lord of the Rings, where it will grab the ball and push it back I think just like Lord of the Rings at the left side we have the pop bumpers like Aerosmith you should throw the pops okay we have got two scoops just to the right of that and those scoops are for like from 2004 Ripley's believer or not the position of this time machine from 1978 I wasn't even born um, it reminds me of the, of the center shot, just like our maiden. The right ramp, middle ramp, nice. Reminds me of, again, the shot on our maiden on Aerosmith. Yeah, and we have got upper right flipper that shoots to the upper left ramp here. Nice. Magnet, uh, magnet on games, I love them. Okay, uh, I mean, I oh, up to here, I <laughs> love magnets. Grabs it and pushes it back. Oh, um, on the slingshots, you know, these um, flashers, they, they can blind you when you're playing. I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah. Three uh, flippers, as I can see. At the left side, we have got three drop-down drop targets. I mean, give us all the drop-down targets you can. I love drop-down targets, but the angle is uh, a, a drainer shot. That's why John Borg has removed his inlane to the right here. Usually he has them out inlanes on the left side. Now they're on the right. That means when you shoot these drop down targets, the ball will fly back over here and you will be able to save them. So we have metal entrance and plastic exit. So it's a mix of metal and plastic ramps. Okay. The art here in the middle is a joke. I don't like it. 
I will cut the music. Some girl is singing. An owl is flying. Yeah, steel ramp again. This, I mean, I will 100%, if I had this game, I will put Mylar on top of this. So it won't make the, those microscopic cracks on the balls, man. <laughs> yeah, nice. I mean, I'm not, uh, some people really hate the plastograms. I, I, I don't hate them. They're all right. It, it's okay for me. But, you know, the ball comes from here and lands straight on this cut for the uh, for the switch. Couldn't they just make it, you know, two centimeters shorter so it can land 100% on the wood? I mean, let's preserve these beloved games. Yeah, beautiful stuff. So th this is the main sh toy. Um, it, it's nice on 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 Lord of the Rings, you know, twenty years ago. But yeah, the ramp over here reminds me of reversed of the turtles, also made by John Borg. It's pretty packed. Nice. We have lights at the back side here. Gives good effect. Uh, super jackpot is this ram shot beautiful spinner here I like it the only shot I don't know about is just to the left here this little let's see is that an orbit is that a horseshoe let's see what it is oh wait <laughs> right now as I'm filming I am all over Radical from 1990. I love Radical. I play it a lot every week. Such a nice game filled with ramps. And the ramp diverter is made like this back in 1990. It's fun for me to watch this, guys. Wow. So, yeah, we have got the diverter. And I love stuff like that. Keep on doing that, guys. Beautiful. Oh, look at that, man. From the middle entrance and behind the play feel and coming up here and gets diverted over here we've got an opto here if this was up it would go down here another opto here ah beautiful stuff guys i don't see that many switches they're optos nice again i have nothing uh, against plastic ramps so it's okay the spirit of the radio Optical spinning targets. Oh, it's had yeah, nice. They use a lot of optos on this game. Nice shot. I'm anxious to. Is that a target here? Oh, is that a dead, dead end shot? I don't hope that. So um, this spinner shot goes to a horseshoe. Uh, usually, I hate horseshoes, but this one. You will shoot here and it will go back and it will feed your upper right flipper. Now, that's genius. I love designs like that where you shoot something and it will feed to the upper right or left flipper. Beautiful stuff. As you can see at the sides here, the inner sides are engraved so you can install those Stern's light kit. Beautiful stuff. They are, I, th I think they're included on the LE. Why not? I'm anxious to know, is this just a target shot? Yeah, oh man, two scoops right here, I don't like that. High speed plastic side jackpot ramp. Oh, beautiful stuff. Oh man, look at how wobbly everything is. Look at look at the stern build. Look at how everything shakes when the ball comes up there. <laughs> so we have got this switch here and it uh, goes around and the diverter goes down so it's a beautiful shot that i think this ramp is a nice shooter from your upper right flipper uh, the center shot you know uh, amateurs they just uh, multi-flip both flippers at once and it's so nice they hit uh, i hit something in the middle it's so clever to put something in the middle that interacts so that's great. 
this spinner that, that, that feeds the upper right flipper. It's just so easy to see that John Borg is a seasoned designer. Everything is just thought of, man. I like it. Shooting through the, the through the pops here to the left side. We have seen it a million times and we love it. Okay. Reminds me of so many other games, but the guy has made so many games. I mean, it will be copied stuff uh, sometimes. It is what it is. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Did you see that shot? That's... Oh, dead end stand up target. Uh, I mean, just go ahead. There, you new Stern players, uh, new to the hobby, you love all these new pinball machines. But all us old guys, man, us that have been in the hobby for many, many years, old game from Bella Williams called um, Adam's Family, 22,000 made. It's a great game. It has got a train shot when you shoot with your upper right flipper. It will go ahead and just hit a target and just just come down again. It's just so, you know, pinball is making satisfying shots. It's just so non-satisfying and it's the same over here. Ew, that shouldn't be there, man. They should just let it spin or something. Have a spinner and go out here to the other side or something. But it is what it is. Oh, that I have to see again. Oh, man. So you shoot the ball, hits a target and gets down again? Hmm. Yeah. That's maybe my only complaint. Um, look here. We have the ram shot. But over here we have from the upper right flipper an in a shot here what a beautiful shot man wow john borg this all reminds me of you know some steampunk stuff but i don't know if, if rush has something to do with steampunk and time machine 1978 i wasn't even born so i don't know rush yeah okay so guys, I must say the pro model cost it cost seven thousand dollars, and I'm not kidding you. It it cost seven thousand. <laughs> so yeah, oh, we have three drop down targets, which gives the way for a stand up target at the back. How great is that? I love stuff like that. Just like on the 1980 to 1982, those belly pins that you know has stand-up targets like you know a wall of protecting something else that you have to drop down great stuff and it's again used here wow i like this nice yeah let me see her oh. yeah scoop here just like on the um ripley's believe it or not i'm not the Scoop shots are fun if you shoot a scoop shot and the ball goes in there and comes out somewhere else. Then they're fun. You know, just like on the Star Wars, you hit a scoop and the scoop just hits you back. That's not fun. I don't like stuff like that. So I have a scoop here um, at the front. Oh, wait. We have a... We have... A transparent insert here hmm so you can hit the shoot from your flippers and you can sh shoot the side from your upper right flipper uh, again just like on Ripley's you can do the same and I think they will only have a coil that shoots out downwards we have something behind the upper right flipper yes we have drum solo and extra ball in there great stuff I like that another thing to do on the play field nice oh the go ball goes down under <laughs> that's nice okay cool detail man wow rush stand-up targets yeah they're stand-up targets nothing to see here people <laughs> did that bridge just move there wait let's look at the back 
Oh, this one g gets down. When it gets down, what do you hit then? A, a wall here or what? There must be a target or another gate, some sort of. Nice that it moves. Guys, again, a pro model. So, I like it. But what does it show it to us? Go down. <laughs> oh. I, I really want to know what you're hitting when this flap is down. Oh, I like the magnet there, guys. Yeah. That's fine. Let me just say, I mean, for me, for me, um, 50% of the enjoyment is audio part. So that that's why I'm not going to buy this game. But I mean, it's packed. This is the premium model, guys. It, 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 the Pro is packed. Of course, for the price increase, 7000 we have to expect something. And they, I mean, Stern, they're just so cool. They just released Godzilla. And after Godzilla, they have to deliver because they really delivered with Godzilla. I love that pin. Also, the Pro model. I really love it. So, this is the premium. Let's take a look, guys. Um... Yeah, the art looks fine. Space something. I don't know. Cool. Let's see. Artwork here. I don't know. We have the bird here again. Now it's 1981. The time machine. Yeah. Oh, that art in the middle. It's It reminds me of the first ACDC Pro. It was just so ugly. And this is just... Why? It's also, I don't like the color orange, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, look at this. We still have the plastic ramp here and metal over here. So we are having a extra ramp exit on the premium model. Nice. So we have got... I'm not a fan of the back glass, but I think this owl is important. Something album cover. Yeah, Stern inside it connected again. <laughs> a lot of songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know all those songs. These are the guys, Rush guys. This is the drummer. Pop bombers. All right, all right. Let me see. Okay, stop here. That's low resolution, man. What is it? 1080? Why is it looking like this? It catches the ball just like on a Star Trek. Maybe it starts something. That's nice. Again, drop down targets. Time machine multiple. Oh wait, what does it do when it's down, man? It has some sort of wall here. Yeah, we have got this mm, clock or something extra. Oh, we have got a vac up here. Oh, that's for the when you shoot that dead end. So on the premium, we have got a VOC. Okay, that's nice. I mean, that's that's enough for me to jump over to the premium melee if it was, you know, a theme music that I liked. Oh, I like that. Um, there's just a metal something at the front here, guys. I think this game will be fun to shoot. I mean, it's a John Borg, come on. I think it will be fun to shoot. Main power scoop, yeah. Scoop looks identical. It said something subway. So you shoot here, it will go to the subway. Light lock. Oh, these two targets will light the lock. And then you shoot off the right ramp here. Then you will lock ball one. And then you have to lock ball two and three to the uh, left ramp over here that's nice oh so much steampunk everywhere i like steampunk nice man under the play field here that that that's a fun way to lock the balls man wow great i mean john borg nice man 
I absolutely like that um, Vok shot, you know, uh, shooting in here and it will pop up. That's nice. So on the uh, premium, you're getting that Vok and you're getting, um, what's this? Wireform ball return. Yeah, that's from the Vok. You can actually see it at this angle. So you uh, you shoot up here and it will pop up here and go down and to your right flipper. That's nice, man. So we're getting this big watch looking thing. I don't know why the resolution looks so bad because I'm running, you know, 1080. Weird. Other than that, you are getting the subway system here. I get, you don't get the expression light. I think it's called that. <laughs> You're not getting that over here. Oh, that's the VOC. Okay, let's take a look at that again. Shoot here and it pops up. Yeah. All right, that's a nice shot, man. I like that VOC shot. Stainless steel, uh, put some mana on there. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Ram diverters. I like that diverter, man. Re again, reminds me so much of Radical. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> I don't know why the resolution is looks like that. It, it's so hot, hot that this... LED is higher up than the, the others, but on the screen animation, it looks like that also, but it just triggers my OCD, man. Yeah. Well, I, li I like yeah, I like the layout of the premium better. Clockwork. Okay. So when you hit the pop bumpers, it will show you something, some sort of progress on the game. That's nice. Wow, stand up targets. Spinner, opto spinner. Yeah, all right. Guys, I have to say, the layout of the game is nice. I I like it. I think for Rush fans, I think this is a great... Wait! Oh, come on, John Borg. <laughs> so again, you will shoot these drop-down targets down and it goes up and locks the ball up here. Now it's a... Um, it's a... What's it called? Newton ball that you can... I think there's a target back here, maybe. So we'll hit this and it will go back and hit that and then exit or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Does it hit something at the back? There's there a target. There must be a target because after he hit it, look at the second time. Bam. Wow. That's nice. Again, more stuff on the premium. Great stuff, man. Wow. Let's just take a uh, picture on the middle here. A, a, in the middle. Not me metal. What? <laughs> Let's just take this. Okay. Okay, guys. My verdict. I think if you are a Rush fan, go ahead and buy this pinball machine. Because it looks pretty packed. The height has been... I mean, just like on Turtles, uh, John Borg, he's using the height of the playfield, the third dimension, and I like that. The ramps are lifted up, you know, looks great. I mean, if it was another theme, I mean, if this was Mandalorian, I would be all in for it. I mean, Mandalorian is a great theme, but look at that design, look at that layout. I mean, what was Brian Eddy thinking about? He just takes a brilliant brilliant theme and just nobody's talking about mandalorian only me <laughs> oh <laughs> i about mandalorian man i i think i don't remember if it was podcast or videos i think it was canada's facebook live maybe another content creator he said that john borg took a lot of pinball parts in both hands and no not john borg i'm so sorry uh brian eddie he took a lot of 
pinball parts in both hands and he uh, tripled and he just fell down on the play field with all those parts in his hands everything just fell down on the middle of the play field and that was the design layout of the mandalorian i don't remember who said that but it's just yeah all right but uh yeah guys for 7000 the pro model it's jam-packed i mean i think Stern, uh, I, I think uh, Rush guys will love it. Uh, I, if I was into Rush, I would pay two thousand more. You're getting some way at this subway system here. You're getting the uh, VOC up here. You're getting this watch that does something more. You're getting something behind the um, the drop down targets. So you, and stuff that I haven't seen, of course. No, I haven't read anything about it, and I'm not going to. Uh, so you're getting more stuff. And then you can go up to $11,000. <laughs> it's just crazy. And if I should buy it, then I should pay 11000 and maybe 1000 for shipping by plane to Denmark. And then on top of that, 25% VAT. So it's like... 13,800 or something like that. <laughs> Will this game cost me as an LE? So, no, I'm not gonna buy it. Maybe I'm gonna unpack, unbox a pro model. I don't know, but no, it's nothing for me. But for Stern people, uh, I'm so sorry, not, not only Stern people, for Rush people, it's a great game to buy. Thank you for listening, guys. I hope you liked this first impression video. I wish you all a great day great day out there retro jingle out